Now that we've gotten your color, what we want to do now is focus on that background color. And we're going to use an amazingly free software called Duotone. I'll give you the link down below and also links to some free graphics, royalty free graphics. So let's get going. So this is the site that's going to give us amazing background graphics. And it's a site called Duotone. And again, it's I'll put the link below. It's duotone.shapefactory.co, but I'll put the link below so I help you out here. So what we're going to do is we need an image. So there's two sites that I use. There's actually three, but I either use Pixabay or Pexels, or you can use Unsplash. And what I'm going to do is when I got here, I typed in marketing. Now, you can do whatever you want to do. Whatever your niche is, you're just going to type in. And I scrolled down and found a picture, and this is the one I wanted. And when I click on it, it comes here, and I can either hit free, free download here, and it'll download because these are royalty free. Or I come over here, and I right-click, and then I say save image as. And when I say save image as, it goes to... Uh, my desktop, I can put it wherever I want. Oh, that's where it went. I couldn't find it today. Ha! So I'm gonna put it in downloads and I'll fire it off there. And it'll just save there. Now, I already did this, so what I wanna do now is I wanna go back to Duotone and I wanna do, let me get this in the middle here. I wanna upload it. And I'm gonna upload this image. And I've already put one of these on well, there it was. It was in my downloads. I'm just going to click in downloads. I had already put it on. And this shows up. See, that's that image. Now, what I want to do is I want to change some colors. Remember we changed your color scheme? So now if you don't remember your color, I'm just going to go back to this. Remember, I use green. Um, it, that's uh, really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to keep this because uh, I like blue, but I, I like that lime green too. And it, it just really pops. So if you can't remember your color, what you do is you come back here and you go click on that wheel. And here it comes. And if you just click on that, there's your color. And you can just copy that. So when you come back over here, I want to go back to Duotone. And I'll just click on there. I want that up and I want to put my color there. And for some reason it's not letting me, but that's what I want. And how is that going to work now? I don't want that. I want to change it to, there I go. I've got my green in here, but I want to go command V. And that's the one I want. See, isn't that just bright? Now, if I go down here, what I, I'm going to click on this one and you're going to see, I want a black there. And I just want all the way over because I, I want the background image. So I have my green in this now. What I want to do, though, is I'm going to pull that up. Sorry, I'm doing all this. And I don't want that bright image. I want a subtle background. So I'm going to come down about three quarters down. See, the image is still there. You can catch a little bit of my green and all that's going to pop. I want some of that green to show. And then all I'm going to do is leave it and I'm going to download just like that and that might be too much but we'll see how it works you know we're just going to see how it works now what I'm going to do is I've downloaded that as a PNG I'm going to come back to here and we'll see how this thing works if it doesn't is remember I'm in my edit mode so what I want to do is I want to change this whole background so I'm going to come back here now this is my green wheel and I'm going to cl click on my settings part and right now the text colors here I want to go I want my image sorry I'm gonna go here no I didn't want that I do want I'm going here I'm gonna get my image and I gotta upload this remember I just put that there and there's two ways to do it if you have this on your desktop. You can just bring it up to here and put it in inside here. Or you can just go upload. And what it's going to do, it's going to find your last images. And there's my image. So I'm going to upload that and see how this thing looks. 
So it takes a while. Uh, this is my ClickFunnels account again. So it's coming here and it might be too much for me. And there it is. See, now that is just amazing. But I think as I look at this, it's too, oops. I see the image too much. I want it to be darker. So I can get the tones. I have my black in there. I'm going to go with that one. You see what I'm saying? Because I just want it to be, I'm going to download it again. And that's, I, I see what that is right now. So I'm going to go back to my funnel. And I'm going to go, I want a new image. So I'm going to click on images. And now I'm right back to where I am. I have to upload an image. And here's my upload image. This is the last one I brought up. And I'm going to pop on that. Here it comes. And I just double click it. And I think I like that more because what it is, you can see the background, but at the same time, this button just pops. Okay, so now that's one, but there's coming down here, here's another one. And what I want to do, I want to do the same thing. And I want to get the settings. <laughs> I'll get there yet. And I'm going to change that image because I want the same background. And there that is. And again, it's bright now that we got to do one more thing is over here. Now I'm going to click on save. So I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to click on save. Make sure you save it. Now this is the this is Blake who just made this thing. Is you want to change your image. And if you don't have one, just have somebody take you with a, a iPhone image. I believe I have one. So I'll just go and see where I'm at. Um, I, I think I already have it in here that the one I used. And I use this one, so we'll see what it is. I, I you know, people know me because I'm by the lake. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to move that down a little bit. So I also want to change the height image, and it says pixels. So I'm gonna go like, see what happens when I do 350. See what happens. I got 35. Oops, I went 3500. There's 350. It kind of made it. Let me go 500 by 500 and see what happens. Um, and I think I want to go a little less than that because what I, what I want to do is hang on here. I want to get it to have, be about the same size as my type. And right here, I'm going to see what happens. See what I do this. It says top image. I'm just going to make that. And then that's good. And it moved on me a little bit, but. I'm good. And I got it saved. So that is how you put a background image. Isn't that cool? And then I'll, next time I'm going to show you how to put uh, more to your brand and get it on your social media. So how cool is that? We will talk again on the next video.